Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Prison Architect. My name, of course, is Obra Potato. Today, we are checking out the finally, finally released Prison Architect with some graphical issues, apparently. I have no idea what's going on there, but yes, anyway, brand new Prison Architect update has just dropped, and this is the 1.0 update, so finally, we are out of alpha, and, uh, and yeah, there's a couple of awesome things that we are going to have a look at and hopefully explore. So I'm just in the escape menu and holy cow. Yep, look, welcome to version 1.0. Fantastic. Uh, the campaign, I've not even done this at all, um, but I really, really want to. And so we're going to do the campaign. I have no idea what it's going to entail, but hey ho, we're going to give it a shot. Is that it? Is that it for the cutscene? Do I have control? No? I have control. Beautiful. What is the CEO saying? This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. You know what? I can I can totally get down with this. So I think for everybody's uh Alright. This is where I want the new facility to be built. Alright, great. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So I've gone through about three different accents here. Uh, I, I don't really want to say any more. I'm not going to lie. I kind of get the whole idea with uh, with this whole building a building and whatnot. And for anybody that is interested... Uh-oh, what do you want? Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. We will build the entrance. Yeah, so uh, for anybody that's interested, this is the tutorial, you know, this is the the first campaign mission, this is the tutorial, effectively. Holy cow, look at our cash! I'm loving that. How do we have so much cash? I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's uh, kind of crazy. Alright, let's speed up time a little bit. There's no there's no point in, uh, in you know, in wasting our words over, uh, over just the tutorial and whatnot. That's... Uh, that's fine, you know, we can we can go through at an appropriate speed. Alright. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution. Yeah, alright buddy, I can do that for you. And you know what, I'll give it to you in super duper quick time. And by that I mean I will speed the game up and artificially quicken time. That's right, you heard me. Artificially quicken time. No real idea of what that means in uh, in relation to anything. Did I not build a brick wall there? Because I do need one. I really do need one. You know, as much as uh, everybody else think, seems to think I, I don't need one, I, I definitely do need one. Alright, when's my next phone call? I'm expecting it fairly soon. Here we go. Now, add large jail doors. You can rotate an object by clicking the middle mouse button or pressing R, of course. Very, very logical. Use R to rotate things. I like it a lot. Okay, and once those two jail doors are down, we should get some more stuff. Alright, that's looking good. 
Okay, I can I can do this. I can do this. This is this is my sort of level of playing prison architect. You know, it's not that difficult. It's just, you know, fine. It's not super super challenging. All right. Okay, I can I can build what you need to be built. All right, toilet there, a bed in there, and an electric chair, which I've never actually been seen used in the uh, in the free play mode. I've only seen it being used in the tutorial and now obviously the campaign so I guess the first level of the campaign is the old tutorial which is something that I can completely understand where's our toilet our toilet needs to be placed and it needs to be placed like freaking yesterday thank you oh prisoners are out incoming call all right the essentials are taken care of but there's still a few improvements that you could make I really don't care about my prisoners I'll be honest all right, I get it. I get it. I get. I get the picture. I get the picture. I get it. That's fine. Let's watch the story continue. I feel I should probably be reading this out, but I really, I really don't want to ruin my throat. Just, uh, just ahead of this. Uh, Ahead of this event. All right. Oh, the chief. The chief. Incoming call. Dum 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 da dum dum da dum. Wrong music. I think it's the wrong music. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. All right. Whatever you say, boss. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Oh, what a lovely, 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 juicy cutscene. The music is intense as well. I mean, obviously not intense, just, you know, intense. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Oh, that is uh, not good. Oh, I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I don't, just don't. What are you going to do? What a stupid question. Maybe the correct thing to say would be, put the gun down, you old fool. Because I think it's fairly obvious what he's going to do. Yep, 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 not at all surprised. Now, got two dead civilians. Welp. That happened. Wow, his ding dong must have been fairly small if she can cover it up with her very, very small elbow. Wow, that's weird how I think that's the first thing that I think when I see that picture. But whatever. I'm sure you guys were agreeing with me. Pretty small ding a ling dong ding a ling dong I like it. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deser deserves every volt he's going to get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. All right, police chief, I don't need a philosophy lesson from you. CEO. Oh, no. Execu execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. All right, you know what? I'm actually okay with this. Just stop. Let me let me skip because I know how to do this stuff, okay? I don't need no soppy story to tell me how to play the game. I, I know how to play the game. All right. Once again, workmen, please get on this as soon as physically possible. The sooner, the better. The sooner we can execute this guy, the sooner we can go to the next chapter. And I'm presuming the next chapter won't be um, a tutorial. I, I presume that I will never have seen the next chapter because I don't think anybody's seen the next chapter, apart from the people that are making this game, obviously. That's kind of obvious, I suppose. But whatever. We're getting the execution room up and running. Connect the rooms to the electrical supply. I'm pretty sure I just did that, buddy. Oh, do we need to connect this area up here as well? Oh, we need to do that area too. Okay, well, I can dig that. I mean, it's just a little bit of a hassle, to be honest. I've got the money for it, as you can uh, as you can totally see. Which is pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so. I mean, um, when I sort of get my next prison up and running in the in the campaign. I think it's probably going to be another prison. I'm not entirely sure. I would like to have this much cash. 
In fact, I would like to have more. I'll be honest with you. I would love to have more. The more cash, the better. All right, CEO. All right, let's watch his execution. We're almost done. I think we should test a new education room. The new education room? If only it was an education room. Execution room. Okay, you're just going to turn it on for just a few seconds. Oh, no. What a dithering idiot. You drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker. The whole prison is dark. Well, surprise, surprise, matey. You know what you do in a dark prison? I'll tell you, free of charge. You play some capacitors. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Not too difficult. It's a little bit expensive. But who really cares if you've got, uh, you know, literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands in the back. You can probably switch the prison on. And everybody is going to be fine about it. And we can click switch on. Chair will work. As per usual, we've expected to because we fixed the problems. I believe we are finished with this job. Did a professional job. Try not to worry about what happens next. Don't worry. I, uh... I think I'll just enjoy this whole nice cutscene. Well, not nice, but you get the picture. Can I help you? No, I don't think you can, buddy. I don't really care what you're looking for, to be honest. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. Alright, Mr. Priest. Let's just go and get this education over and done with. It is time, Edward. You've done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and He will have the final judgment on you. Solid. I think this is it. I don't think there's no fight back. There's not going to be anything uh, super crazy happen. It's just going to be a case of load this guy up into the chair and polish him off. Uh oh. Yep, yep, he's a goner. There's the chair in a nice dingy room. Oh, that would be horrible. That would be really horrible. Yep. He's got his little body. His little body that looks like a sausage sitting down on the chair. Everybody step back. And. And. Oh, he looks pretty scared. Edward Romsey, you've been found guilty of two counts of murder of the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Something about forgiveness, probably. That's my bet. Susan, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. A nice traditional. Simple to say phrase. What a cheery, cheery, cheery introduction. And the fa and the screen fades from white to black, signifying the end of Edward's life. Well, I think that was it. That was chapter one. And I think there's five chapters, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not entirely sure. I'll be honest with you. Uh-oh. There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out and stop any casualties and to prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the toolbar to call the fire brigade 
get this fire under control before it burns down the whole prison. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing this in the very, very next episode of Prison Architect. It looks indeed like we have progressed to the next stage of the campaign, so hopefully you'll tune in then and, uh, and you can see what the heck happens to this burning prison, which is something I am really looking forward to playing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully you'll tune in next time for some more Prison Architect. Until then, my name's Norbert Potato. Bye.